Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer. My excuse is that Mondays uh, is the day where I'm allowed to look after the parish on my own um, and therefore I kid myself that if there'd been more of a team here that uh, I would have got everything done on time. Truth is, of course, that's often just an excuse. It's about the discipline in my life, the focus that I keep which in many ways is an appropriate thing to reflect on with St. Ignatius, who we celebrate this day. An extraordinary man whose military past, I think, gave him that real sense of focus and determination and order. It's that which enabled him to combine with his spirituality and with his reading to devise the spiritual exercises to, to enable people to bring into their life that structure and that focus. It was an element, I'm sure, in the foundation of that community that he formed around him, which became known as the Jesuit uh, Order, the Society of Jesus, and a certain discipline that they brought to their missionary work and to their endeavor. It was all inspired by reflecting Uh, on the scriptures and on the life of the saints while he was recovering uh, from his wounds. I mentioned this morning, I think the saints have a great deal uh, uh, that they can offer us by way of inspiration and offer our young people. And we make those young people part of our reflection this evening as they gather for the World Days with Pope Francis It's called, of course, the World Day, or the Youth World Day. Um, I'm not sure why it's in the singular, because they're there all this week. Father Tristan is there with um, three or four um, of our young people. I only sound vague, because we discovered yesterday that one or two have made their own way there. So he'll discover, I suspect, over these next days, just how much of Guildford Parish is gathering in Lisbon. There are also young people who are part of the Lourdes pilgrimage. We've been watching in the house and praying with them on the live stream. Um, And now we have an opportunity on this live stream uh, to to make them part of our prayer here. As we begin, we recognise the extraordinary gift uh, that Mary gave to the world through her faithful response to God. And as that's being recalled in Lourdes, so we too recall it as we begin our evening prayer. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Come, praise the Lord, the Almighty, the King of all nations. 
Tell forth his fame, O you peoples, with loud acclamations. His love is sure, faithful his word shall endure, steadfast through all generations. Praise to the Father most gracious, the Lord of creation. Praise to his Son, the Redeemer, who wrought our salvation. O heavenly dove, praise to thee, fruit of their love, giver of all consolation. The Lord cares for the weak and oppressed. In the Lord I have taken my refuge. How can you say to my soul, fly like a bird to its mountain? See the wicked bracing their bow. They are fixing their arrows on the string to shoot upright men in the dark. Foundations once destroyed, what can the just do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord whose throne is in heaven. The Lord looks down on the earth, his gaze tests mortal men. The Lord tests the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. He sends fire and brimstone on the wicked, he sends a scorching wind as their lot. The Lord is just and loves justice, the upright shall see his face. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord cares for the weak and oppressed. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Lord, who shall be admitted to your tent and dwell on your holy mountain? He who walks without fault, who acts with justice, and speaks the truth from his heart, he who does not slander with his tongue, he who does no wrong to his brother, <coughs> who casts no slur on his neighbour, who holds the godless in disdain, but honours those who fear the Lord, he who keeps his pledge, come what may, who takes no interest on a loan, and accepts no bribe against the innocent, such a man will stand firm forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world with <coughs> Amen. <coughs> Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. <coughs> God chose us in his Son, and made us his adopted sons. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God chose us in his Son, and made us his adopted sons. In the first letter of Peter. Now I have something to tell your elders. I am an elder myself and a witness to the sufferings of Christ, and with you I have a share in the glory that is to be revealed. Be the shepherds of the flock of God that is entrusted to you. Watch over it, not simply as a duty, but gladly, because God wants it. Not for sordid money, but because you are eager to do it. 
Never be a dictator over any group that is put in your charge, but be an example that the whole flock can follow. When the chief shepherd appears, you will be given the crown of unfading glory. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. He lay down his life for his brothers and sisters. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. What will a man gain if he wins the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud departed. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. What will a man gain if he wins the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? Let us pray to Christ, the High Priest, who was appointed to represent people in their relations with God. Lord, save your people. Lord Jesus, in times past, you've lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. In the presence of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you've redeemed by your passion. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life and no one can steal them from you, save the faithful departed for whom you laid down your life. Let us that we might pray for, for Daniel and Snajena on their wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary to you both. We know that Daniel is president of the Catenians. Snajena uh, is key um, in the parish. Kate asks that we might pray for Lily Thompson and her daughter Joan, who are in the parish of Farnham. Lily, 98 and bedbound, and her daughter continues to care for her. Uh, despite her own ill health. We pray that the appropriate care may be found for them. Billy asks that we might pray for his aunt who has cancer and needed to have a critical operation today. Emma asks that we might pray for the success of Helen's hip operation tomorrow. Elizabeth asks that we might pray for Anne, who celebrates her birthday today. A happy birthday, Anne. We 
wants to pray for Margaret going through a difficult time. For Javi, recently diagnosed with lung cancer and waiting to start what will be aggressive treatment next week. I ask to pray for Elizabeth Mother's Rosemary, who passed away on this day in 2009. Family asks that we might pray for the repose of the soul of Shuris on his second anniversary uh, of his death. We pray for all those recently deceased particularly more in Somerville, Jesus Perez Duarte, Mabel Richards, Joan May, and Monsignor Canon Terence Stonehill, whose anniversary it is today. We pray for all our fellow pilgrims uh, in Lourdes. And we pray for the young people as they gather with Pope Francis in Lisbon. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord God, who raised up St. Ignatius Loyola in your church to give greater glory to your name, grant that aided by his prayers we may fight against all that is evil on earth and with him receive the crown of victory in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you for your participation this evening. Thank you on behalf of our various brothers and sisters who I know uh, truly appreciate the fact that they are being prayed for. And uh, just a reminder that there is available um, the email that went out on Friday uh, gives the links to both the Lourdes live stream and within the Pilgrim Handbook the timetable of their various events. Um, so we saw them as part of uh, the torchlight procession last night. I'm not quite sure which afternoon the Blessed Sacrament will be. Even if we can't join them on live stream, we keep them in our prayer. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Ducedo, Espes Nostra Salve. A te camanus, exules filie, <coughs> A te spiramus, <coughs> Apologies. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.